recording. <laughs> I am on my tippy toes. All right. Obviously a much, much different position than I'm used to. Riding uh, feet forward on the uh, bobber. But I am excited. I think I'm gonna be used to this engine. Just the revs, obviously the, uh, the Scout motor, the 1200 does uh, like to rev. <clears throat> but super smooth. This bike is tall. I am on my tippy toes for sure. Feels nice, these mirrors. Definitely getting used to looking over my shoulder. So used to looking down. Controls feel nice, tank feels good. Knees in. I think this first little bit of the ride here, we are, uh, <clears throat> it's a little bit slower through the residential area here. Excuse me guys they were pretty clear about we're not gonna be able to open these bikes up they're gonna keep it pretty tame on this ride it's the dealer's first Indian group ride here a demo day I should say uh, this dealership just opened up so I know they're taking things a little bit slower Kevin gave me an energy drink a monster before the ride. That probably wasn't the best idea. Because I'm fucking jacked. <laughs> but what a beautiful day. Couldn't ask for more. <laughs> It'd be nice to get on the highway. Well, I don't think we're getting on the highway. But just a little bit of acceleration would be nice. This is not the S model, this is the base model. So I'm very used to looking at the, the dash here. Um, nice thing about this one is there is a fuel gauge, unlike the Scout, but your gear indicator, RPM, time, and uh, we can cycle through that. Power, temperature, mileage, oh, liters per hundred, six liters per hundred. They got way more information the Scout's got. Man, this thing is comfortable. Corners like a dream. No worries of scraping like on the Scout. You know what, I had a, when this bike got released, I had a pretty big, uh, pretty big manwood for it. And then it kind of tapered off. I mean, I still appreciate the bike and loved it, but my, I'm just so happy with the bobber and the way I've modified it. It fits me really nice, but I could, uh, I could get behind one of these. 
I think the nice thing with that uh, Indian motorcycle, sorry, island motorcycle company opening up is uh, on the island here is these bikes are going to start showing up and they're going to start showing up used for sale, which is great. I could see myself, I wouldn't buy a new one, I don't think. I definitely could get behind a used one for a little bit. I don't know how long I'd be able to maintain multiple motorcycles. Insurance here is pretty, pretty outrageous, but uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. And then obviously the Challenger coming out. I don't know if I'd get a Challenger before I would get this. I would definitely let uh, a year or two go by on the Challenger motor just to make sure before I invested. But it's a it's a good looking bike. It, it's grown on me. I wasn't too sure about that front end, but those spy photos that had come out, how the lightning bolt on the side is integrated into the uh, turn signal. I like it. I like it. Engine braking on this bike is great. Slows right down. Man, I just want to open it up. <laughs> I just want to go so much. They were pretty clear about not being able to do that. That's okay. This won't be my last ride on the FTR. Like I said, more of these will pop up, more demo rides. We'll get into it, but for a first ride, quite like it. That was an aggressive wave. <laughs> oh, people don't do that. Getting to six here. Yeah. You know, these bikes, they don't like being lugged, but it's got balls of torque, man. I'm telling you. She goes and she sounds good. I don't know if the audio is going to pick up on that. You know, I got my microphone set up for my bike and, you know, I've got it kind of tucked in there so it doesn't distort under the loud exhaust, but this one's so quiet that uh, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to hear it. It's got a little grumble on that stock exhaust. But fourth gear, 2800 RPM, it's still got some jam, you can feel that torque kicking in. Well, that front end dives pretty good with that braking. So base model, you still got your high beam flicker here, your pass lights, cruise control, turn signal, horn, starter, and then your typical uh, toggle for your display. Much like the Scout, it's just on the opposite side of the bike on the FTR. Open it up. <laughs> but I am on my tippy toes. I am not flat footing this one. Wouldn't say I'm as comfortable as I am on the bobber. There and I could have gunned it. But the route's good. They're going to take us down to the lagoon here. It's always nice. I think we're stopping for pictures. The lagoon's a good ride, you guys. Actually, the very first video I ever put out, the New Year's ride of 2018, I was at the lagoon. They were doing the polar bear swim. I 
haven't been out of second gear yet. Well, I mean, I did rumble the bike down, but... <sighs> let me go, let me go, let me go. So I have, I was intending to ride uh, the Chieftain, but like I said, they're only allowing, because uh, there's so many limited bikes, it's a dealership ride, it's not an, uh, a dealer put on demo day, it's not an Indian put on demo day, so they're limited on bikes, uh, so they're only allowed one guy per bike per day, which is fine, so we booked up the FTR, everybody, which is nice. Um, I have ridden the Chieftain on a demo ride in Vancouver, but uh, that was a while, I didn't, I didn't film it. And that bike was funny to get used to coming from the Scout because of the low uh, red line of the bike. You know, you, you're shifting, you got so much torque, you shift at a much lower point. So it's a natural transition for me onto this FTR. Um, it was a very high revving motor. Um, I wouldn't say it's like a Scout motor, it's all new design, but uh, same kind of concept, right? Almost same displacement, same look. Um, same gears, everything. I'm sure the shift points are different, but you know, I'm used to riding on a higher RPM on the on the bobber, whereas uh, so this is a natural, I feel for me a natural transition. A little bit different being on the Chieftain, um, a different style of ride, more of a low and slow. But that bike still got up and moved, and uh, this one, um, I feel like this one would move if they would let me. Maybe we get on the highway, we actually get up to speed. So yeah, here we are on the lagoon beautiful Victoria waterfront Wymont Lagoon on the left here and you got open ocean on the right, Pacific Ocean. And we're gonna stop up here for a photo. bike. It's a good bike. Sound good. Great color. Bias of the Roadmaster, sorry. Whatever. Still sounds good. Is 
boogie in. Bike feels good over the bumps. I like it. That on the bobber that would be a backbreaker. I kind of like this running position, you guys. I'm pretty high up. The guy in the bobber just follow me going over them. Man, he must be breaking his back. I know those woes. Yeah, easy buddy. Just fucking ride it like the scout. Great transition. That old girl. Need a little boost up. Man, I can just that Roadmaster on the way to Sturgis. That would be that would be comfort. That would be comfort. We're even riding that down to California. Any trip. I don't know if I'd have as much fun on it, but damn, you'd be comfortable. So good. Oh yeah, there she goes. There she goes. That's the motor I know. God, it's a beautiful bike. Even if you're not an Indian guy, you know what? If you're a motorcycle guy, I don't care what you think. If it copies the Ducati, I think you're wrong. You think you're right, doesn't matter. This is a great bike, even if it's not for you. Man, it gets the blood pumping. You gotta admit it. It's just a good, good bike. merge on the highway here which is good at least we'll get up to speed 80 90 K do it do it do it get up to speed do it you some bitch just kidding you're a wonderful person. is quick it's a quick bike 
Highway speed feels good. You're definitely in an upright seating position. You're taking all that wind on the chest, but. It's a little, it doesn't feel as nimble as I thought it would. So it's probably me not used to this riding position. Try some cruise. Set. Cruise works nice. Easy to set, one button. We're cruising. Cruise. Now we just need this on the scout, man. Give me some cruise control. Well, you know, we're at the end of the ride here, just about. Would have really loved been able to actually put the bike through paces a little bit. Or at least to my ability. I can't ride this thing like probably half you guys can. But, uh, you know, big, big props to uh, Island Motorcycle Company for putting this on. I, was, I must admit, I was a little salty at first when I heard it was uh, <coughs> one bike ride per person per day. But I get it, you know, everybody's got to ride the bike. I would have booked the whole day, all four bikes. But a big thank you to them for putting this on. That was pretty cool. And then that delivery of those bikes showing up, that was super cool. Gonna check them out, thank you to the staff. And I look forward to the, uh, look forward to the grand opening of the dealership in December. So we've got a month and a bit away, maybe five weeks, five and a half, six weeks. They said they're gonna have a big party. So we'll definitely be checking that out. But again, on the Motorcycle Co. Thank you very, very much. And the nice thing too, I think, with uh, the island, the uh, Indian on the island here, is they're gonna start a new riders group. So looking forward to getting involved with that. Get involved with Indian Motorcycle World and the Indian Motorcycle Riders Group. Should be good, should be fun. Maybe do uh, do some uh, cross promotion. I wonder if that guy is angry at Toyota. I can't tell, but I think he might be angry at Toyota. Our ride's over.
was it? Fantastic. Right on. Need a little more highway next time. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you very, very much. Good. Good, good, good. All good? Yeah. Are we, are we putting a down deposit in FTR? Yeah. Yeah, how'd you know? Do you get okay. a deposit down? All four of us in. <laughs> Take one home today. Oh, there you go. Okay, last question, I promise. Oh, cool. If you could pick just two of these, which ones would they be? <laughs> They're all different. <laughs> Trucker hats Trucker? are big, yeah. Actually, that's blue jean? That blue jean, yeah. Uh, Gross. Gross. <laughs> that one, probably these two right here. What's funny is the only ad campaign that they used with an older gentleman. Yeah. <laughs> the blue jean. I thought that was like a matte blue. That one? That's a good one too. Okay. That matte gray. I like that red. But get in some truckers? Yeah, for sure. Okay. That's done. There you go. Okay. Good thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bring in these ones. Oh, yeah. Those, but those are actually coming because then you got the guys like Kevin yeah. and stuff. Yeah. And love, they wear those every day. Yeah. Good. Thanks, guys. No yeah. Get in more of these guys in. The Henleys are coming. The Henleys. Easy, five bucks. Good times. And then you guys, you seem to have two. You got the thin cotton shirts and then the thicker ones. The only ones available on this order are the thinner ones. Yeah, I don't like, I got a couple of those I never wear them. I wear the thicker blue ones all the time, but. Okay, good to know. Yeah. Yeah, it's, um, I don't have a lot of money to play with on this initial. Not yet. To make sure what I order is actually going to go. Yeah, thanks guys. No problem. Well, that was good. Like it? I loved it. You got your dirty paws all over. I'll put put my nuts on this thing. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about tea bagging things. Earlier. We didn't get to, we didn't get to rip it too hard. No. No. That's the one thing that makes me sad when you got on the highway, you gave us some, right? Oh, yeah, I did. Okay. I, oh yeah. yeah, I kept it in second and went and brought up. I, I I'll have to check the footage, but I hit 7,800 RPM, so I I bung, I went. But the night, the funny thing is, is the motor's so close to the scout that it was an easy transition. Yeah. When, when Brandon and I were in Vancouver, we took the Chieftain out. I was hitting red line all the time because I'm so used to that motor going so much further. So it was a harder transition, but that one was easy. Well, should, we do a, should we do a ride somewhere? Yeah, we should do a ride.